So a zip line is when you have an elevated surface and then you um and then you have a string that goes all the way down. So and it goes to like a lower elevated surface. And then <clears throat> attached to the string <clears throat> is a harness and some and a rope that holds the person up and then they go down the they go down the string um to the bottom. And so when I was on a zip line, I was at Camp Ernst and we just were, I think like it was just like the zip line day, like our team had the zip line. And so I was kind of scared at first, but all my friends went on it. And then I was like, I guess I should go on it. And then I was really scared. I felt like I was going to fall, but I didn't. And it was really fun. Hi, I'm Jim, and today my friend Emily and I are going to be teaching you guys how to make some zip lines. Uh, we're going to do things a little differently today. We thought we'd have a competition. So for my zip line, I'm going to use just some Lego sets I had lying around. This Lego helicopter and this little Lego boat. And those are going to be what I use to make my zip line. Uh, and Emily's going to show you a different way of doing it. So I'm going to get my son Elliot, and he's going to help me uh, demonstrate how mine works. Elliot's going to help me demonstrate the zip line. So he's holding the helicopter up, and our rescue diver here is going to use his pulley, and whoop, I dropped him. And he's going to hook on our rope. All right, so pull it tight, L. And down he goes, slowly, slowly, slowly. And he gets to the boat, and he'll rescue our guy, and away they go. All right, Emily's going to show you a different way you can use to make your zip line at home. Hi everyone, my name is Emily and I work at the Museum Center. Like Jim said earlier, today we're making zip lines. So I decided to make a zip line in my dining room. Let's see what materials and supplies I use to make my zip line and whether it works. For my materials and supplies, I use painter's tape, but masking tape would work just as well. Yarn, but string or twine would work. And then I use Lego pieces. I decided to bring in some familiar faces to test out my zip line. We have Elsa and Anna. So let's see what I built. Okay, so this is what I made. Elsa and Anna are snugly in there, but I used a base and then built some towers and then connected my towers on top, basically trying to make a box. Let's see if it works. Okay, so I looped my yarn through my box. I'm going to hold, I'm gonna start up here and let go. Hey, they hit the X, awesome. So that wraps up my zip line. This little box worked pretty well, but just remember I had to stand on a chair to do it. So make sure you have a grown up's help if you wanna do that. And whose zip line did you like better, mine or Jim's? Let us know, bye.